Hey chickies, it's Baron here. We're going to be going over the Idris Sam today. Yes, I'm perfectly aware it's not in the game yet. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to get all those notifications, check out all the links in the description, and leave a comment down in the comment section below after this video. So, I want you to watch this all the way through because today we were talking about the Idris Sam, how you're going to be able to use it in the verse, and the sort of the practicalities it's going to come with. So, we know it's got a size 10 railgun, we know all the weapons on it, and that it's going to have a lot of firepower. Yes, it may be under firepower compared to to the Kraken but it's still got a lot of firepower in comparison so we're going to be pretty much talking about like I said how you can use this this is pretty much a series I go over I know it's not really like relevant right now but it will be for the future of Star Citizen once it is released so if you have an Idris M listen in if you want an Idris M again listen in so as we know a lot of modern day frigates um, are quite useful now a lot of them do serve as scouts or escorts to protect merchants so I think the Idris M can serve the same purpose, but again, they could also serve the opposite role and serve as a raider slash pirate. Now, being as it has so much firepower with its size 10 railgun, its possible torps, and it has a lot of onboard weaponry. So we've got to take this into consideration and what you can use this ship for and the amount of people you're going to need for this. So obviously you need a crew of 8 to 28. Um, and it's going to, you know, it's going to have a lot to do. It's going to have 831 SCU on board. It can change, obviously, because they are actively developing this for Squadron 42. So I don't think we'll probably see this ship until that game is out. So some roles you can use is protecting data miners the endeavor once it's like up in the air doing its thing the carrick in exploration escort for merchants haulers miners base builders and their pioneers protect those who are in need with crime stats escort ships through different systems if they do need it obviously at a premium rate primary ship to take into battle now obviously it's going to have a med bay and a lot of other things and it's going to have a hangar so that can be quite useful now it's also possible to take this bounty hunting, do some ops in it, including orgs. Um, so if you want to do some org ops in it as well, some long, long distance railgun round deployment. Obviously, this thing's going to have like a range of 30 kilometers plus, um, which is going to be quite crazy. So we also know that you can use it for people moving. You know, I think you could be able to put a lot more than 28 people on this thing. So that's going to be a massive factor with this ship is that you can also probably charge people a premium rate to actually get through systems and move them around. Now you could be, do some form of cargo hauling in it as well as it has got 831 SEU. Now a lot of that space can be used for supplies and whatnot for the people aboard the ship. You can also use it for some form of cargo hauling of some illegal goods and whatnot since it's such a big ship and people probably won't be as inclined to attack it. Now, going over this ship, like I said, it can be used for pirating, raiding, and the opposite role of probably even protecting and scouting and being an escort for merchants. Now, when you actually take this ship out, you're probably going to need an escort for the Idris itself as well. Now, it's going to have a lot of firepower, but it doesn't hurt to have another ship or two with it, like a Polaris, Perseus, Kraken, and whatnot. Probably even a Crucible, because obviously you're going to need that repair there. Now, going over this ship, like I said, you're going to be using it for a lot of pirating ops. You're going to use that railgun for a lot of different things as well. You're going to have a hangar on board. You're going to have an Argo, a little small Argo ship that comes with it. So taking this all into consideration, I think people are going to find a lot more uses for this as it has a lot of intended uses. It also has a lot of unintended uses. So let me know down in the comments what you intend to use this ship for. Because I think that people are going to, you know, take advantage of a lot of things in this ship. Obviously, being that the railguns are going to be one of them, you can also use this as a contracting ship. Now, as you guys know, that I do have a fascination for contracting ships out on this. Now, whether or not have a, like a dry hire or a, co a wet hire, where you can have a lot, of like a fully crewed ship, it's obviously going to cost a lot of money. Now, some people won't be able to get their hands on any M. You would have to be an original backer where you can get one by itself or you can get one in the Praetorian pack or Legatus. Obviously, as they, the original backers were promised that there was no other way to get it unless you know you had Praetorian or Legatus. So having this ship means quite a fair bit. It's going to be one of those ships. I mean, I think a Javelin would be more accessible than an Idris M right now. So thinking that an Idris M is useless is it's arrogant. This thing is going to have so many uses. It's going to be having so many app applicable tasks to it it's not going to be funny so you know if someone's mining out uh, in a field with an orion you know you can have a nautilus you can have the idris out there as a sort of a, 
a power projection as I've mentioned before to show people that you've got that out there along with the Polaris and whatever other ships you got out there because I don't think anyone's really going to come into that field and mess with the Idris obviously being that it's so large and it's so dangerous but if you go up against one of these in like a hurricane or whatnot, I mean, if you have a lot of ships, it's going to it's gonna suffer. But the Idris M being the ship it is, it's going to have a lot more firepower. It's not going to have, um, the, you know, weak shields. It's going to be quite strong in its field. So I think people need to take it as a, you know, look at a modern day frigate compared to this thing. And it's just going to compare so well against other ships. Now, obviously, against the Javelin, it's probably not going to do as well as what something, you know, another javelin would do but at the same time it may do even better because it has got that size 10 they have got size 8 weapons on the javelin but again the size 10 railgun does do a fair bit of damage i mean it probably would be a little bit more maneuverable than the javelin but the javelin having the weapons it is it can be a quick firing gun so you know you have to think about how you can use the idris and how it's going to have weaknesses and how it's going to have strengths just like any other ship but I would think about a modern day frigate in comparison to the Idris so that you know you can sort of get an idea of how you're going to be able to use it whether or not it's going to be a decent ship which I think in my mind it's going to be really great it's going to be fantastic and I think everyone who's got one is going to have a great time in it especially like I said with that railgun you know you got your torps you got your missiles you got all those turrets on the side of it so you know I hope you are uh, all enjoying these series I want to thank our patrons, channel members, Twitch subscribers. So I want to thank Fateless for having Legatus. I want to thank A12345 for having Dominus. I want to thank the Rule Donald Dump and Reynold Rosenthal for having Prevectus. I want to thank our Twitch subscribers such as Dreamless and the other guys. I all, I, you know, I can't thank you guys enough for supporting the channel. I hope you enjoy these videos. There are many more to come, and I'll see you in the verse. Peace.